Ladies and gentlemen, hi. This, uh, my name, what is my name? Oh, my name is Lenore von Stein, and this is a, an episode of The Facts. And I'm here tonight with Andrew Bolotowski and um, Beth Griffith. And this is about uh, making art. I, I, I call it thinking and making art. And um, so we, we, this is a rehearsal. We're going to rehearse what we're going to then shoot in about two minutes after we finish rehearsing. <laughs> and um, so. Um, so when I th th think about this, one of the issues, I, I mean, I've been an artist all my life, struggling, crawling around on the, uh, on the outside, but really on the inside of me anyway. Uh, and uh, art is, is, is often under the control, or usually, or always, I'm not quite sure, under the control of the establishment, whatever the established powers are, real or, or commercial. And they're spinning their tails, and they're organizing, and they're, and, um, I, I, I used to, when I go, I watch a lot of TV, and when I, I used to know when I went through periods of commercial TV would make me sick, make me stupid, make me feel unhappy. And the reason that I knew this is because when I stopped watching it, I felt a lot better. That was how I gauged it. can make people feel more comfortable with themselves by giving them insight, or it can distance people from themselves by, by uh, commercial art does that a lot, you know, by, by, by m m you know, people think, oh, I'm not pretty enough, or I'm not a good enough person, I'm not sexy, uh, sexy, whatever that is. Uh, okay, let's, let's, we're going to practice a tune I wrote called Guitar, and, um, the guitarist is not with us tonight, but we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna work on this tune called guitar. And um, okay, let's try this. Um, I, I, should I count it off? Sure. 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 Uh, one. And, wait, Andrew, are you gonna play? Absolutely. The intro? Absolutely. Okay. 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 One. <laughs> okay. Here we go. One. Two, three, four. I got, I got, I got behind. Then I got, I found it, and you know, and um, this is sort of complicated music that I'm, I'm writing here. Um, 
because I'm somebody asked me after somebody saw the last show. I said, "How do you, you come up with this? How do you come up with this music?" And I, I said, "I came up with it note by note." And she really didn't appreciate that answer. And when I thought about it, of course, I can understand why she didn't appreciate it. But I don't know how I come up with it. I mean, it's what I hear, you know. Let's try this again. Okay. Oh, sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. 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 Uh -huh. Okay. Give me a chance to wet my whistle. other mistakes there but I think they worked better okay <laughs> and 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 that's how I write this music really I'm writing a you know I come up with some idea some little motive some little or what something not usually not that long and then I mess with it and 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 I change it and I invert it and I uh, do, then I go along until I think oh this is so boring and uh, can I do something else here and what is this about and you know do I need this and these are the constant questions and then I go to sleep thinking oh I found an answer and it works very well and again in the mornings it doesn't work well at all and that's the story and finally get to the end of solving that particular problem and that's the end of the piece of music because you know I could mess around with it forever you know but I got to go on to something else so it's okay it's solved for now I got as far as my little brain could take me right now my brain and skills and you know the, the combo you know um, Can I say something yes ladies and gentlemen this is simply the most natural expression of composition or the compositional process that I've ever heard in my life <laughs> <laughs> okay thank you thank you thank you um, so listen, let's go back to the establishment controlling the arts, you know, an artist, the, the example of how we're living and why we're doing what we do and who we are and, you know, and I know that these rich people, aka the establishment, I know they can, you know, really uh, ruin my life. There's no doubt about that. Um, and, you know, so a thousand years ago or more, there were there were more despots and, and there were fewer despots and more people under their heel. Yeah. So I think what's happened is we've, you know, it's democratized just at taste. Just it's like, it's like opening up like a dark hole in space or something, you know, and there's, there's a, there's a, there's a few, there's a few more people inputting, but, um, okay. Um, um, so, you know, like uh, we think for instance, often, and I get caught up in this too, that good art will out. That if it's good art, in the end it'll come through. But I don't know. I mean, who knows? You know, I mean, that doesn't, justice doesn't prevail. I mean, pieces of it prevail after long, long struggles. But, um, and you know, in the USA, circa 2013, when we're doing this, um, Truth seems to be a really an absurd, old-fashioned commodity. You know, and it's it's not polite enough, and it's not cruel enough. It just doesn't fit in. Uh, let's look at what's the next thing I said we were looking next at? to new. Next to new, something that's not quite new, but next to new. Next to new. Okay, and I'm gonna. I don't. I, I don't sing in this one. That's a. Okay. Good. Uh, so, <laughs> okay. Um, okay. so I'm going to count it off for them. So we're going. Okay. 
I will give you the cue. Okay, yes. great. Okay. Oh, you, so, the, so this thing about the cue, the way that yes. we've been working here, mm -hmm. this, this cue stuff is to actually set the tempo so that we can move seamlessly from improvisation mm -hmm. to, uh, to the mm -hmm. piece of written music, mm -hmm. which is not what we're doing in this rehearsal, but yeah. when you watch the episode, you'll see our seamless stuff, you know? Mm -hmm. That's okay, right. <laughs> so next to new, I'm not going to do anything. Oh, oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Enjoyed that. Um, Would you buy it? Even if it's not new? <laughs> I'll buy it. I'll buy it. <laughs> okay. I mean, I try to get rid of as much of uh, I, I'm, I'm as much as not necessary. You know, if it's if it's not necessary, and this is something in the in the composing or writing process that that is it's very important. And I've been doing this many years now, and I've learned this for a long time. Like I keep things. I still do it. I, I keep things. I think, well, it's sort of okay. I, I sort of like it. I sort of like it. I sort of like it. It's like th finally throwing something out of your closet, you know, that you, you know, and, and then afterwards, well, no, I don't really like it, you know, I, or I don't like it enough. So 86 it, you know, uh, and and that's what I do. And this and this stuff becomes, well, that particular piece became sparser that way. And when I was in music school, in composition school, I had a teacher who told me that I can't have all these silences. You can't have all these silences. You can't have all these silences. Mm -hmm. That's it. You know, and I don't know. I don't know what she was, but um, I don't know why not. Mm -hmm. And um, recently, I have made a couple of collages of, mm -hmm. in the, on the facts, this TV show that you're watching, we have these three different kinds of episodes. We have these rehearsals that you're, like you're watching now. We have the, the, the finished product, more finished product. <laughs> And we have uh, discussions between myself and other people on topics that uh, are of interest to me. And so I, I've put, started putting together these uh, collages. I've done two of them. One of them is finished. One of them is almost finished about w working with Scott Henkel, one of the people on the crew, to, uh, uh, putting together slices of, of conversation and music, conversation, and not my conversation, my conversation with other people sitting around a table. So it's really quite uh, jarring. And, uh, but anyway, I, I saw one of them uh, the other day broadcast, and it, it made me so happy I, uh, because I really think it was um, a step in a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a direction that's exciting. I don't know what that is, uh, but it's, a real, it's real movement. And that's very important, I think, for artists to, to be able to uh, trust enough or whatever it takes in that particular personality, throw caution to the wind enough or whatever it is, so that they can move forward into territory that they have got no chart for. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, uh, and, and that's what gets in the way of what the problem is for most artists uh, is that that's very hard to do, and most of the people around you don't want you to do it, you know, aside from you not wanting to do it, but there's a lot of real succulent peer pressure as well as uh, as well as pressure from you know if you're if you're making money off this stuff but even if you're not making money off it there's real pressure and and so it's 
it's abandoning that and, and taking off in a direction that may be ugly for a while or, you know, creepy or whatever, however you label it. You, and you probably label it quite differently than other people or, you know, but you, you that's really important. I mean, and that's the, that's the, uh, um, and it doesn't, after a while, it doesn't take courage. It just takes knowing that it will reap benefits because you've done it enough, you know. So artists really get better as they go along, in my opinion. At least I have. Uh, they don't. They don't. You know, I'm, it's, I'm. I'm not Mick Jagger singing the same song I did 40 years ago, you know, uh, at all. So there's there's a difference in the fine arts and in the commercial arts. Let's look at something else. Let's look at what's the next thing I said we'd look at. Criteria. 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 Okay, hold on. As in, what are the criteria? The this, this name of this show is The Facts, as in, what are the facts? You know, people are always telling you there's the facts, there's the facts, the facts. What are the facts? And what, what, what are the facts made up of? They're, they're not just, you know, this microphone, but the sound that I'm feeding through this microphone. It's not just my hand or my face, but the feeling that I get when my hand touches my face, you know, that this sensation. These are all facts. Let's hear criteria. Okay. You want me to count? You don't need me to count it off, right? Well, What's do, the cue? Uh, well, you, first so I'm a guitar, and, and then, then I'm a flute. flute. Yes, exactly. So, to everybody out there, just close your eyes and, yeah. <laughs> as I say, you, you won't know the difference. Okay, <laughs> here we go. Quite clean. Clean. <laughs> I think we do pretty good endings. <laughs> We're pretty good on endings. Mm -hmm. And I think a lot, this is something also true in, in modern music. I, when I first got into music and I was, I was singing, um, well, I was singing with bebop players and they had some good endings too, but often they had these like old show business endings and it's not like this. They wouldn't go, da 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 you know, but it was, a, it was a more sophisticated version of that, you know, and I hear that in classical music too. I mean, da 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 we get to an ending, we have to have an ending. But, you know, what's, you know, in, in modern composers have, have, have you know, and, and and good composers throughout time, not just modern ones. You know, it's, the endings are. You know, um, why do we get there? You know, what is it about? And you know, is it just you know, oh God, I, I can get off the stage now. You know, uh, or is it, is it, ref is it, you know, is it good? You know, is it, ref and and what makes for it? this goodness? What holds up this goodness? Is is it its relevance to what just happened before? Um, I heard a piece by, by Beth's husband, John McGuire, a very long piece, and it, went, it was very, very long, and I got lost from time to time, and then it got to the end, and the ending was so boffo, it made the, made the whole piece fall into place, the, the beauty of it, you know, mm -hmm. that is extraordinary. Um, so um, I, I've spent my life outside of, of um, to some extent outside of the recognized artists of my time, uh, and maybe that's where I'll always be, I don't know, but, uh, and um, usually I don't think about it. Uh, uh, but, you know, I do have moments where I wonder about the value of what I'm doing, and, um, and uh, but, you know, what can you do with that, you know, and then you, you just kind of, it, 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 it's motivating as well as uh, alarming. 
know, <laughs> and um, so that's the story. So let's try something else. Okay. What's the next thing we were talking about? Mm. Alfred Hitchcock yes. construction. Yes. Okay. okay, I said this before because we've done this piece many times for those, for those of you who watch the facts. Um, I'm, 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 I was, I'm, I, I really like the way Alfred Hitchcock puts together his story. Some of his films uh, really reflect this, I think, and and I don't know what I like about it except it's, it's, it's. Well, it makes sense, and it's easy to follow, and it's it's engaging, and it's it's uh, some of it's very revealing. And one of the things that I was writing about here is are these love scenes between Cary Grant and and Grace Kelly and To Catch a Thief, uh, some of them, which are really, I think, very insightful little dances between um, uh, people. You know, in this case, a man and a woman trying to trying to. Um, to feel each other out, to trust each other, to find each other in the atmosphere. Um, and, um, okay, that's what they're doing, I think. What that's, you know, it's called flirting. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Beth, it's all you. Mm -hmm. You give it, you breathe the air into it. Well, well, but, 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 oh, that. Yes. Okay. Indeed, yes. Oh my God! Yes. Soprano has the cue. Yes, okay. Soprano has the cue. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna open the window. The second one where you hear this little doo -doo -doo at the end, I, 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 you know, I, I guess I like them. You wrote it because you wanted to. Yeah, I wrote it because it's, you know, and, and, and <laughs> trying to find an ending, you know, and. So I, I, th these shows, uh, and, and not only when we do these shows, but when we perform live, and we've been working together for quite a long time, we do this combination of improvised and composed music. We move from one to the to another, and the improvised music is 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 is, well, it it kind of enlivens the the the, the work, uh, and and the composed music. Uh, I composed the music. I started, in fact, composing music for improvisers to put something in their ear I wanted them to have before they got to their improvisation. I wanted to fill their ear with something. I wanted, and 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 you know, they could go from there. Uh, it's kind of like a great river, but we need a stepping stone to get across it. <laughs> you can't, right? Mm -hmm. And your composed pieces are like the. I'm the stepping stone. Solid st stepping stone. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and um, so, by the time you hear these, by the time these composed music hit the, you know, hit the ground, as it were, uh, <laughs> they have been worked on over and over and over and over and over. You know, I mean, you know, 
note by note by note, you know, it's the 350th draft, no, maybe not, but it's like the 40th draft or something. And the improvisations, of course, are always the first draft, uh, uh, like, like, uh, like um, impressionists, you know, kind of, uh, because first drafts can be, you know, embarrassing or they can be really boring, you know, they can be revealing, they can be both boring and revealing. And, um, and, and maybe that's part of what the Impressionists were about in a way is, you know, the, the stepping your foot into it, not, not, um, not preparing the ground in the same way, uh, the truth that comes from the first impression. Um, I'm, you know, what do I know? Um, and um, so let's play something else. Let's play, what's the next thing we're gonna play? Wait. Wait. This is something I'm engaged in. Uh, mm -hmm. And it's quite an engagement. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. um, but it's, it's happy making. <laughs> happy Super making. Best. Let's play this quite. Okay. Let's play this. All right. The window. I just want to say this one last thing because we're almost finished here. Uh, what have I also been thinking about? I've also been thinking about the endless criminality, the criminality of the powerful, you know, and 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 how to overcome this, and and does this criminality criminality come out in other ways, like like a like a like a hose with uh, with holes. <laughs> <laughs>